Hi everybody, it's Mr. D at In the Middle with Mr. D1 at blogspot.com with teaching tips for day two of SQ Middle School Sight Singing Level 2. So we'll start with a written warm-up today. It's day two of school for me. We're going to review the positions as we do in level one. Um, we're going to talk though about octaves and overtones and helping the mixed choir to learn to find that sound. We're going to talk about balance and blend. Uh, these are things that will bleed over well into your um, regular repertoire. That's one of the big goals of SQ Level 2. And then uh, our sequence today after the written warm-up will be a forbidden pattern game. We're using simple patterns, the same that we would use in Level 1. So like I'm teaching my 6th graders and 7th graders Level 1, so a lot of this is the same. Makes it a little easier to teach, um, keeping up with the different patterns. I'm keeping the pattern simple so that the kids like use Soul Me, the 8th graders can use Soul Me. Uh, and, and focus really on pitch and listening and blending in those octaves with those boys' voices. Um, then we'll do follow the hand, same thing. I'm going to keep it very simple, focusing on octaves and creating overtones. It, uh, oftentimes the blend and balance get messed up when they start to mix with the boys for the first time. And then we're going to do a challenge, a sight singing challenge, sort of an awakening, like lesson 18 and level 1. And the example is quite difficult today. Um, if I were you, I would enlarge this example uh, very big or I'd print it. I'm going to print mine. I'm giving it to my kids and letting them see it up close since it's their first day. It's three-part SAB. Um, this is uh, an example that would it's going to be very challenging for them. And we're going to use this moment to talk about the tools that we learned last year to help them with sight singing. We're going to talk about things that they don't know, uh, asking them to help. Uh, this way they awaken into the learning process and then we'll start reviewing some of the, the things that are missing that we see that are missing today uh, in the next few lessons. So um, if, they, if they do really well, that's, that bodes well for what's coming. If they don't, it just means we have to be very careful as we review in these coming weeks, um, setting them up to be very successful advanced sight readers. Okay, hope that helps. Have a great day.